All right, the unit circle. I think that's going to be kind of neat because I want to think about this here. First off, let's talk about unit. Unit being, in a sense, we're going to talk about one. So in other words, we're going to talk about a circle with a radius of just one. And the formula for this circle, if you remember this, if it would be at the origin, it would be just simply x squared plus y squared equals one. And if this is the origin on your Cartesian coordinate plane, this point would be one, zero. That point would be zero, one, negative one, zero, and zero, negative one, right? That's the unit circle because we have a length of one unit from the center to the outer edge, hence the name unit circle. So what we're going to look at is this. At any point along this circle, that point will be x, y, and here's our angle theta. All right. So what we're going to notice is particularly this. All right. That length right there, all right, is in a sense the the length of any also our t, same as our little theta right here. Now, if I was to take this little curvy part and move it straight up like that, that would be one. Remember, if r is on the unit circle, radius of one. This right here has a length of what? That length is one, right? Now, here's what we're gonna do. See that point right there? That point X, X went over this red and Y went up that blue. What did we just make? We made a what? Right triangle there. That's X and that's Y. And what we wanna know is this. So let's compare some things that we know about this point X, Y. It's X, Y, right? The hypotenuse of a right triangle made a right triangle. Here's the hypotenuse. There's a side adjacent, which would be, and there's a side opposite. And notice, if the hypotenuse is always one, all right, and the side adjacent is always x, because it would be x, because we're talking about this angle right here, then y is going to always be the side opposite. So there's kind of some stuff here that you need to know a little bit by some definition types of things. So we want to compare these. Reason being, that we can redefine the trigonomic functions like this. The sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, is the same thing for sine of t as y over 1, or we would just call it what? y. We would just call that y. All right? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be the same as x over 1, or the, sine, the cosine of t is just plain letter x. We're just taking it and shortening it because the hypotenuse of the unit circle, remember hypotenuse is 1? Well, I don't really need the 1 then when I'm dividing by it. So what about tangent? No, it's opposite over adjacent. So that means I'm going to have y over x provided that x does not equal 0. So I call my legal disclaimer because x cannot equal 0 because you cannot divide by 0. And then we have the reciprocals which would then be hypotenuse over opposite reciprocal of sine. So instead of y over 1, we'll have 1 over y. Provided y does not equal what? As you can see, 0. So what do you think it's going to say about secant? Hypotenuse over adjacent. So it's going to be 1 over x, provided that x does not equal 0. And then we also have cotangent, which here is tangents opposite over adjacent. Cotangent will be adjacent over opposite, or x over y provided now that y does not equal zero. How come there's not an equal zero here? Because there's not a variable in the denominator. And notice when it was one, it slid right over here because you don't have to, when you divide by one, that's what you end up with. 